Yo guys, Spiderbot here, and it's time to take a look at the rest of the SMGs for Black Ops 2 multiplayer. We've covered all the ones that had uh, quite a bit of footage, so the rest of these don't have a lot of footage. We're going to start off with the Chicom, Chicom CQB, and uh, this weapon was shown at Gamescom, so we do have some footage, and it was shown, I believe, in the multiplayer trailer that was released for uh, Black Ops 2. So the Chicom CQB, I hope I'm saying that right, the country's China manufacturer, China South Industries. You can see here in the multiplayer trailer, the SMG taking out a dragon fire. A uh, cartridge is a 5.8 by 22, or sorry, 21 millimeter. Fire rate 900 RPM. Fire mode fully auto. Damage low, range low, recoil low to medium. The magazine size is 40 rounds standard, 60 rounds extended. Uh, the Chikom CQB is a Chinese bullpup submachine gun. The weapon does not truly exist in real life, but is based off of the JS-9, which is a variant of the QCW-05, or the Type-05 Chinese submachine gun. The Type-05 entered and won a competition held by the PLA for a compact submachine gun to replace the aging models. It resembles the Type 95 in its external appearance, but internally operates differently. The difference between the Type 05 and the JS-9 is that the JS-9 has a Picatinny rail instead of a carrying handle. The Chicom QCB, or CQB, sorry, is based off the JS-9, although might not use the 9mm cartridge. It features a rail-mounted carrying handle and iron sights, as well as a flashlight very similar to the FMG-9's iron sights from MW3. It also has a charging handle on the side of the weapon, while the JS-9 does not. Now, what I will say about a couple of these weapons is it's refreshing to see that uh, Treyarch has brought, you know, weapons that we haven't seen before in multiplayer games, whether it's Call of Duty or other, you know, competing games. It's it's uh, it's pretty good to see. Although, again, it does seem pretty similar to weapons that we have seen in the past. But but still, I mean, still, there is some, uh, you know, it's it, we're 12 years or 13 years into the future, so there are going to be some weapons that maybe we have never heard about, obviously, in this day and age. Uh, and it makes sense, it makes sense. And there are a couple more, I think uh, one, at least one other, uh, one other SMG, I'm not sure if the PDW-57 is uh, exists in real life or not, but we'll talk about it here in a second. So that's all the footage for the Chicom. Uh, the rest of it, we have a little bit of multiplayer for the PDW, and then uh, we don't have anything for the Vector. So let's let's go on to the PDW-57 here. And I'm really not sure where they're getting all this information from with regards to the <laughs> manufacturer, but uh, PDW-57, country Belgium manufacturer FN Herstal. Cartridge 5.7 by 28 millimeter, fire rate 900 RPM, fire mode fully auto, damage low, range low, recoil low, magazine size 50 rounds standard, 75 rounds extended. Not much is known about this weapon, it doesn't exist. By educated guessing, we can deduce possibly that the 57 in the name refers to the caliber as the 5.7 pistol does uh, this for the same caliber, so maybe they share ammunition. Again, who knows? We'll have to see. It uses P90 magazines and features aesthetic similar to the PDWC with the stock taking a different design. More will be added as it's released, and that's off the uh, Activision forums. And I really like the reload. The reload is freaking cool. All right, the Vector K10. Uh, again, we don't have footage for this gun, but we do have, um, well, at least from Black Ops 2, I do have some stuff from Modern Warfare 2 because it was a uh, number three on the list, I believe, of SMGs in Modern Warfare 2. So the Vector K10, country U.S. manufacturer, Chris, cartridge, uh, 0.45 ACP, the fire rate is 1,000 RPM, fire mode fully auto, damage low, range low, recoil low, magazine size 20 rounds standard, 30 rounds extended. Um... Otherwise known as the Vector of the Super V, this is a submachine gun developed by Chris. It uses an asymmetrical recoil and inline design to reduce recoil and muzzle climb, making it an extremely fast-firing yet accurate SMG. This version is similar to the same as we're seeing right now from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it's got a foldable stock and a similar receiver, if, if not even the same. Uh, it also has a black and tan finish like the Modern Warfare 2 model. Um... So, I, I don't know, maybe they pulled this, uh, maybe they called called up Infinity Ward and said, Hey, ba hey dudes, can we uh, can we get your gun models? Come on, send it over to us. But uh, we're going to finish this out. I, I mean, I just have a few a few more kills I get from my camping spot over in uh, uh, the B side, the, the search area on B side when I'm defending. I usually uh, go in on this left-hand side and, and defend in this uh, area I'm going to show you. But, um, so those are the SMGs, and if... 
one of the ones that maybe you haven't seen the video uh, of the other ones that I've done. So if there's an SMG that you're wondering about that wasn't covered in this video, I believe there are three others. Uh, I'll put links in the description to the other SMG videos that I put together. But uh, that wraps up all the SMGs. And uh, we just have, there's some uh, assault rifles. Oh, I guess we're going to do the same thing with uh, assault rifles, sniper rifles, and uh, shotguns. And uh, we should do that within the next week or so. Probably start taking a look at uh, maps as well. So hope you guys enjoyed. That's, uh, yeah, the wrap-up for SMGs. I'm Spider, and I'm out.